What, what was your thoughts on on the uh, I guess the role of the fitness industry? Because one one of the things that I guess prior to this is is that you know people that have probably not been particularly well. And when I say well, you know maybe maybe people that are that are overweight and and you know got health issues and so and and maybe isolated from a community. So when they come to a place like your facility or many other people in the industry, you know they kind of get that sense of community that you know they they work out they they improve their mindset and their positivity um connect with people and and they and they, their life moves in a very positive trajectory which helps them to to reduce sickness and makes them stronger now with 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 that being gone um you know people being isolated on their own you know what 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 are your thoughts on that kind of situation because i get i guess it's you know it's obviously important that we we do isolate but yet you know, there's there's a lot of those key things that are missing, uh, you know, with the industry being this sort of first line defense to, you know, before they get into somewhere like a hospital, for example. It's a great question. Uh, my belief is we have, as an industry, we have a moral obligation. And listen, I know the majority of fitness users around the globe are um, in, in, a, in an organization, the objective is typically to make money, you get shareholder return and so forth. But right now the rules have changed a little bit and we need to come together and, and with this moral obligation. And I think one word explains it well, which is empathy. And everybody that is going through this situation, we know how we feel. There's some personal anxieties I think that all of us have. The industry has an opportunity as an aligned force, as a, uni as a unified uh, body to go out with as much great content as we can through our great people and through the great um, um, assets and programming and partnerships that we have together to get that out to the community. Because you know, as, as we're going through this as an industry, people are at home right now and a lot of people don't have a job. And, and a lot of people are in a stressful position because they just don't understand what tomorrow is gonna bring. And when you intersect that with the media that is 24 seven, nothing but negative news, um, that puts, I mean, that puts people's paradigm in a position where they're not thinking good about their life right now. So I view this and, and I view um, all the partners that we have out there inside this industry as this is our opportunity to shine. This is our opportunity to stand up and, and provide this light that things are going to be okay. And, and, you know, we're, we're dealing with the flu and, you know, when you when you look at numbers just in general, um, you know, in the in the U.S., um, I think in 2017, what 45 million people had the flu in the U.S. or something like that. And you know, right right now, uh, we're not close to that number. the The problem with this virus is that we don't understand it. We're still learning about it, um, and obviously, the mortality rate's a little bit higher. Uh, and so, I think the other opportunity that we have is that through content and through being or having empathy we also have the ability to help educate consumers of what this virus is about because i think there's a lot of distrust right now watching media and, and listening to different all these different political officials that have their own agendas um, whereas all we can do is provide content and sincerity and authenticity to the consumer mm. and what's your views about how this this is being managed by uh, you know from a business perspective because you you know you you guys are a global business you've got franchisees and partners in different parts of the world so you you've probably got a, a, a better view than anyone about how it's being dealt with in other countries you know do you think in places like the USA and the UK it's you know it, it's being managed in the right way have you seen any other countries that are probably a little bit ahead of us for example you know what, what what's your view of how how it relates specifically to the business fitness community, fitness industry. I, I think it's kind of a no-win situation. You know, we, we the we know that as this um, challenge has presented it, itself to us, that we had a ton of members working out in all of our gyms all around the globe. It was the one place they could go and unwind from the constant um, attack of, of of the coronavirus and. And so obviously there's a little bit of a risk associated with that, right? So if you stay open and you take that risk on and one person dies, was it worth it? Probably not. And, and so I, I think that the, 
recommendations and, and later followed by the mandates for the most part were appropriate. I think what frustrates me is when we hear different government bodies coming out and saying, hey, it could be a year, it could be two years, it could be nine months. There's so much inconsistency with the end result of how we get back to work and how we take care of people and how we take care of customers and team members. I think that's the frustrating part. And by country throughout the globe, everything's being dealt with in a, in a different situation. And, and, um, and, I, and I think that this somewhat exposes us on a lack of consistency with the way that we handle uh, adverse situations like this as a, as a globe. Um, but we are also in uncharted waters. So we try to give people the benefit of the doubt and react appropriately. I would say that when you look specifically in the U.S. and you know you look at the stimulus package that was just passed, yeah, it's a great package and it's great for a lot of individual franchisees, hopefully, so they can they can you know close shop for a little bit and rebound the right way. But it also really hurt a lot of fitness companies that have private equity backing, right? Because I think the stimulus bill um, acknowledges that it's not going to support anybody that has private equity. And so, again, it goes back to being inconsistent, rushing to get things passed without understanding the full impact of how it could in, um, impact other parts of the industry and other parts of our business. So, yeah, I, I think uh, I think we have a little bit of a challenge with consistency. I think we have a little bit of challenge of, of, of not educating the right way and, and making sure that we're more fact based versus trying to have our you know, governmental personal agendas to try to push their own agenda to create the headline. Um, and so that frustrates me a little bit as, a, as an operator. Um, but I think the more that people come together and, and they're connecting on social, they're, I mean, I think, I think people actually shut down Zoom because of the popularity of, of this industry connecting with consumers, uh, and which is a very, very powerful statement. And so I, I think as long as we keep this organic and genuine and, and we have real conversations and in our, in our industry focuses on, on educating, informing, and trying to be as fact-based as possible and not trying to profit off of an insane challenge that we're going through right now. And I, and I got to tell you, Matt, I've uh, on, on LinkedIn, I must have been hit up by 30 times today about somebody pitching me to take advantage of their offer that they can fix my clubs and clean my clubs and do X and do Y and do Z. And quite frankly, that comes across very insincere and very salesy in a time that we're trying to come together um, and make sure that we're taking care of our employees, our team members, our gyms and and working with vendors and relationships, um, it, it's, it's, it lacks a little bit of taste. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, then please go over to iTunes and subscribe to the Escape Your Limits podcast. Leave a review, leave a comment. It really would help us a lot to continue to keep these going.